Jen, your exclusive startup business coach, and I want to come in and talk to you guys about business ideas that are not going anywhere. First, do me a favor. Hashtag pretty gang in the comments, like the channel, and make sure you're commenting hashtag pretty gang. So we're talking about timeless business ideas. Let's not waste no time. Let's get right into it, honey. The first business idea that is going absolutely nowhere that has been around is coaching right we see popularity growing with certain type of coaches but i'm just gonna give you some basics right is there's fitness coaches right there's life coaches there are money coaches and there are confidence and self-esteem coaches and what is currently blowing up always been around but currently blowing up are dating coaches so if you have the skill to help people with their money, with their love, with their dating strategy, with their um, life, with their fitness, with their confidence, with their self-esteem. Honey, there is a market and a place for you as a coach. The coaching business is going nowhere. I have a picture right here, Miss Iyala. Okay, Van Zot. And she coaches, right? She helps people with their life, a life coach. Check out some of these life coaches online. You know, there's Tony Gaskins, there's Angel Richardson, there's April Mason. There's all these different variety of coaches. You just need to figure out what you bring to the market and start coaching. Okay, and you can make upwards to $500 a day, to be honest. It all depends on what your clientele is, what kind of packages you offer. Like when I used to do fitness coaches, I can make $500 easy, no problem, right? Because it's something that people want. And a lot of this coaching, many of it takes place during certain time frames, right, of the year. So these things never get old, right? Money, for example, if you're watching this when this first drops, if you're watching this, there's a high likelihood that you are watching this because it's a new year coming and people are going to want to start money and fitness. So money coaches and fitness coaches should be gearing up or should already been geared up uh, because when New Year's comes, this is what people are going to be focused on, right? Then you move into Valentine's Day. What comes up for Valentine's Day? People are going to want to date and coach and go on speed dating. That's where dating coaches come in. That's where love coaches come in. I mean, through the whole entire year, you need your life coach and your confidence coach. But I'm just showing you guys an example of different moments in time throughout the whole year can be a coaching business for you if that is something you know how to do. So let's get into the second business idea that has been here and going nowhere and about to go nowhere okay it's the resale game i told you guys for you guys who do not know i have a video which i'm gonna let slide up here and i'm gonna also leave in the description below where i'll talk to you guys about starting a boutique but you can resell through thrifting through low-cost imports you guys know alibaba aliexpress dh gate all that right those are low-cost imports you're importing them in to probably the united states and then you're going to sell them four times as more. My, my phone case. This phone case cost me $15. Okay. Have the kickstand and everything. Now you know that on Alibaba this cost 50 cents. And they came to sell it to me for $15. So import, export, resell is not going anywhere. Right. Then also you guys you can try limited edition things. Um, I know currently what's popular is the Teflar bag. And it's. He, they do drop days and there's only so many that get sent out. I see people buying it for 125 or 175 and they go on Poshmark and they're selling it for 250 Now, of course, that's arbitrage and Teflar, I think he said he only, you know, the creator of, I think he said he doesn't like people doing that. He does not have any brand deals with anybody, but people are still doing it. It's the resale game. It's not going nowhere, right? In thrifting, you guys can literally go to a thrift shop and find, you know, I don't know a coach bag just for an example and then you get on ebay you bought the coach bag for 15 dollars. you get on ebay and you sell it for 50. resale is going nowhere honey and you can resell on ebay amazon poshmark macari there's more than that i'm just giving you a couple of places where you can go and do your real resale thing okay so the next business that ain't going nowhere now some of y'all might come for me with this one but tara is going nowhere and I know there's this debate between whether you should believe in terror, all this stuff, but let's be real. You believe in, not not all, but some people believe in signs, right? You When you go on dates, what you asking? Oh, what's your sign? Oh, oh you are Scorpio. You must be a freak. Like, we know what these things are, right? Or you be like, oh, cancer, you're emotional. Oh, Sagittarius. Oh, you so savage and blunt. Like, big Sag energy, right? But terror is going nowhere. You guys, go look at some of these terror channels. They are 
blowing up, okay? They do signs, they do personal readings, they do dailies, they do weeklies, they do monthlies, they do extended readings. And some of these tarot readers on YouTube also share, also have classes where they teach you how to do tarot readings, right? Tarot is going nowhere, honey. Call Miss Cleo now for your free tarot reading. It's going nowhere, okay? So if you are, um, if you understand terror and you've been interested, just know that it has a big money, big ticket, okay? Big money, big ticket. You can get so much money from different ways. Like I said, personal readings, you could do signs here on YouTube. Next thing you know, you're getting monetized and you're getting checks on top of checks from Google. Like, terror is an option, especially because when I do look at some of the terror readers, like, it doesn't seem that difficult, but of course you need to be in tune. It needs to be something that you enjoy. It needs to be something that you see yourself doing long term because you're going to have to build your clientele. Like all of these business ideas that I'm saying, you want to build your clientele. Boo. Okay. The next thing we know ain't going nowhere. Now, next business idea is social media, right? As much as people want. To. Now, what happens with social media is that different social media has changed, right? Like if you guys do not know, Facebook just changed to metaverse. If you even when you log in the when you log on to Instagram at the bottom now it says I think like brought to you by Meta okay social media is going nowhere but it will continue to change right a few years ago Snapchat was popping Snapchat ain't no more now it's TikTok right um, then I think before that what but what was before Snapchat right the musically turned into TikTok like there's all these things that will be here social media is going nowhere it'll just change so something that you can do as a business idea within social media is you can be a manager of social media you can manage other people's social media if you're good at that you can become an influencer yourself or you can become a content creator yourself this is social media is not going on anywhere it's been tested and it's been proven and the last but not least you guys is Designers are not going anywhere. If you know how to graphic design, if you can do business cards, logos, websites, digital prints, invitations, right? If you know how to do all of that, this is a business idea. This is a business idea that's not going anywhere, and this is a business idea that can make you lots of money. I've seen people charge you know, 300 500 even up to a thousand dollars to revamp somebody's website. Yes, revamp somebody's website. Okay, so if you have those type of skills, definitely check into it. You guys, this was actually brought to you by my pretty business owner. Um, check with the 50-point checklist for the brand new business owner. So if you are a brand new business owner and you are interested, please check in the description below to get into uh, the 50-point checklist for the brand new business owner. Again, you guys, this was the business ideas that ain't going nowhere. They're timeless. Right, and I hope that this is something that you can totally get into and something that can help you. So, you guys, I hope this was helpful, and I'll be talking to you guys later. Bye, y'all.